Hello, Mr. Luna. My name is Dr. Naomi Shaw. You can call me Naomi if you like. Have you seen my family? We'll get to that in a bit, Mr. Luna. Alex. Alex. Why don't you tell me about the intruder? The man in the mask? I always work at night. I find it's the best time for me to write in peace. Did you call the cops? No. That was about a week ago. There's a lot of high schoolers in our neighborhood. I figured it was some stupid dare. Did you tell your wife? I didn't want to scare her. Did you tell anybody? Are you okay? Alex. Hey. You okay? You're a million miles away just now. Uh, yeah, sorry, Maggie. Uh, just tired, up late, waiting. Maybe wish you would work during the day. But that wouldn't mean giving up paying with you guys. Fuck up. Come on, this was your idea. Yeah, I know. This is a really nice place. We should get to know our neighbors. I gotta watch this food go. Come to people for me. What up, man? Hey, what's up, Oscar? How you doing, man? I've been doing good, man. How you doing, dude? Hey, you were late. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry about that. I had to work late. My God, dude. That smells so good. Do you guys got something to drink? You. Stay out of the booth. What? I'm serious. Come on, man. Help me get this ready. You gonna eat that, man? Bro, what's wrong? There was someone in my backyard last night. What, were they drunk or something? No. They were wearing a mask and just staring. Damn, dude. Did you call the cops or something? No, it's probably just some prankster. Yeah, probably. So how you been? You mean other than last night? You know what I mean. I'm fine. It's been a long time, man. Okay, okay. It was probably one of your neighbors then. You think? Well, they didn't drive away, did they? Could it be anybody then. Yeah. See anybody who might fit? Him? No, couldn't be. Look at him. That guy last night jumped the fence like it was nothing. What about this guy then? Hey, kiddo. Did you eat already? Yeah. Say hi to Oscar. Hi, Oscar. What up, little man? You gonna be all right, man? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. He won't be bad. Listen, man, if you need anything, you call me, all right? I appreciate that, but really, I'm fine. So you told Oscar it had been a while. 
A while since what? I got hurt when Oscar and I were teenagers, and it hadn't bothered me in a while. What kind of injury was it? My back. I fell when we were skateboarding. You have one chance to leave and never come back, or I'm making the call. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, baby boy. Hey, is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Thought I heard a noise. That was just the TV, and uh, he started fussing. He's okay, though. Jeez, you're sweating. It's hot in here. You're crazy. Why don't you get back to bed? So this man was in your house, but you didn't call the cops. I mean, how could your wife not hear what was going on? Maggie sleeps like a rock. This man was in my child's room. He stood over Julian's bed. I knew he was coming back, and I wanted to be the one to teach him a lesson. So your neighbor caught you in his backyard, but didn't press any charges. Did he see this masked man by chance? No. Alex! I got it. Hey, can I help you? Hey, uh, Alex, right? I met your wife at the barbecue. I'm Brock. Thanks, by the way. You grill a good burger. Uh, thank you. Uh, you came over here to tell me that? Not really. I'm here on a uh, semi-professional capacity. Ralph said he seen you in his yard last night. Said you uh, threatened his dog? Uh, no, 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 no. Um... You see, what happened is uh, the dog was barking real loud, and uh, I'm sure that nobody could sleep through it, so I went over to see if there was something wrong, and there was a family of raccoons over there. Raccoons? Yeah, I leaped the fence and was chasing them off. He said you took a swing at him. I ran into him on the way back, and uh, he, he startled me, and I swung. I apologized. Look, I know Ralph isn't a great guy. I take a swing at him too. But if you're seen in his yard again, I'm going to cite you for trespassing. As it is, I had to talk him down from attempted assault. Thank you. It won't happen again. Okay. It was nice to meet you, Alex. Yeah, you too. Hey, Brock? You gonna do reports of some creep roaming around the neighborhood? Jumping fences? Just you. Officer Erickson is a good man. He was the first officer on the scene. Makes sense. So, when did the intruder return? That night. 
But I made sure there was only one way in the house. So you skipped the part where he gave you that? I just haven't gotten there yet. you try calling Oscar and not the police? He's the only one I could trust. Trust with what? Your family was being attacked. I needed him to tell me I wasn't imagining it. You thought it all might be in your head? <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Luna, for talking to me. I have some images here. I want to see my family. Alex. I'm not doing anything until I see my family. Alex, that's not possible right now. Then we're done. Where did you find that? We found it there. Did you find him? Mr. Luna, the blood on the mask belongs to your wife. That's not possible. I, I saw the blood come from his head. I'm sorry, Mr. Luna. Your wife was found in your bed. She'd been beaten to death. What about Julian? What about my son? Your son is safe. He's with child services. I want to see him. Alex, I can't let you do Why that. Why the hell can't I see my son? I can't let you see your son because of what they found inside the mask. There was hair inside. It belongs to you. Mr. Luna? You're lying. I have no reason to you lie. You idiots can't find my wife's killer, so you're pinning it on me? Alex. <laughs> Fuck you! This is bullshit! Where are you going? I'm leaving until you can control yourself. I didn't kill my wife. My turn? Not yet. I want to wait him out, see what he does. My hair could have been placed in the mask. You're serious? Priming's been known to happen, Detective. Has Garza gotten here yet? Yeah, he's in the other room if you want to talk to him. Keep an eye on him. Yes, ma'am. Oscar Garza? 
Yeah? I'm Dr. Naomi Shaw. I'm a criminal psychologist. Is Alex okay? He's in the other room. He just got the news about Maggie. You close with Maggie? Yeah. I actually introduced Maggie to Alex. They're my best friends. I've known Alex my whole life. So you know him well then. I mean, he told you about the man in the mask, but not his wife. He told me because Maggie never knew about the schizo thing. Schizophrenia? Yeah, Alex used to have it pretty bad. Used to have it? He hasn't seen or heard anything in a long time. So he was medicated? Not that I know of. It's highly unlikely it would have gone away on its own, and I'm not seeing anything in his... Well, that's what he told me. I didn't kill my wife! You did! You son of a bitch! No. No! So it's possible he was just seeing the man in the mask. No. I mean, if he was just seeing things, who killed Maggie? You think he did it? And the way the sun Holy shit! John, get in here! What's going on? Mr. Garza? What happened? Alex injured himself. He's okay, but he did confess. Mr. Garza, Alex and Maggie have you down as their child's godfather. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And you're in a position to take care of him? Yeah, I could do that. Good. He's still with child services, but I want to get him out of there as soon as possible. This is the address. Um, I've got some paperwork to send over there, but I can meet you there in about an hour. Thank <laughs> you. 